How do I get off of email lists I don't want to be on? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. If you're not subscribed to my newsletter, you might be interested in doing so. It comes out every week. It's called Confident Computing. AskLeo.com slash newsletter to sign up today and get the latest answers, news, questions, and so forth that I cover throughout the week. So how do you get off of an email list? Well, it depends on exactly how you got on that list. There are two approaches to doing so. And what's frustrating is that they're almost completely separate. They are completely, I don't want to say incompatible with one another, but there are clear cases where one is right and the other is wrong and vice versa. Let's start with the obvious case. If you explicitly subscribed to a mailing list, doesn't matter what kind of a mailing list it is, but it's something that you originally asked for, either explicitly by filling out a subscribe box or by making a purchase and somebody including with that purchase online a statement or maybe not a statement that would involve them continuing to send you more marketing materials, newsletters, whatever. The bottom line is it's your interaction that initiated your starting to get these messages. The answer here is very simple. Unsubscribe. With each email that you get, there is legally supposed to be a link near the bottom that says unsubscribe. They sometimes make it more difficult than they need to. Sometimes the uh, unsubscribe button is like a very light gray, which just frustrates the heck out of me. But that's the right approach. If you've signed up or if you're getting that email because of something you did. Now, if you didn't subscribe, what if you just start getting this random stuff that you never asked for, you never heard of, you just don't care about. What do you do? Well, you don't unsubscribe. It's very important that you don't unsubscribe because you're getting spam. What that is, is nothing more than spam. By its very definition, it's unsolicited email that you didn't ask for. The problem with using an unsubscribe link in spam is that it tells the spammers you read your email. It tells the spammers you're paying attention. It tells the spammers they should start sending you more spam instead of unsubscribing you. So if you're getting something that you didn't ask for and you don't want, hit the this is spam button or the junk button or whatever is appropriate in your email client. Hopefully your email client or email service will use your repeated use of that button to educate itself as to what it, you think is and is not spam. That's the right thing to do. So if you asked for it, hit the unsubscribe link. If you didn't ask for it, hit the spam button. Now, unfortunately, there are two caveats here. One is if you did ask for it and you do hit unsubscribe and they keep sending it to you anyway, it just became spam. By unsubscribing, anything further they send you is by definition unsolicited. It is spam. It has become spam. If they're not paying attention to their unsubscribe link, then the only recourse you really have is to start marking the further emails, the subsequent emails you get from them as the spam that they have become. Now, the other caveat is if you subscribed to something, if you initiated getting that email, don't jump directly to the this is spam button. Give them a chance to do the right thing. Use the unsubscribe link at least once to try and unsubscribe from email that started because you asked for it or because there was some kind of an online transaction that initiated it. They are supposed to pay attention to that. 
Most do. I know, like the Ask Leo newsletter that I talked about earlier, I pay attention to that. As soon as you hit unsubscribe, I stop sending. The reason it's so important not to start with the spam button is because that tells the email service you think this is spam. That will prevent other people from getting the email that they asked for. If they don't think it's spam, they should continue to get it. That you think it is spam should not affect other people like that. You need to give them a chance to do the right thing so as not to affect their reputation. If they continue to send it to you, absolutely spam the heck out of it. It's worth punishing them for not paying attention to your unsubscribe. But give them a chance to try. Give them a chance to do the right thing. I hope that was helpful. I hope you now know what to do in these cases when you're getting email you're not wanting anymore. For updates, for related links, for the article on which this video was originally based and more, visit askleo.com 73487. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.